Welcome everyone to a new video. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you my favorite formation that I used last weekend in Ultimate Team. You can see my team here. This is just a starting uh, lineup and formation, but in game we switch to the 4-2-2-2 formation. Um, if you are watching my videos all the time, then you know that we made a few changes in the team. I packed since the last video the two Chelsea guys. Fernandez and Mudrik both are untradeable, but both were worth more than 1 million coins when I packed them. So that is really, really wonderful. Uh, Pogba and Ribery are resting now on the bench. And yeah, we bought to Ray uh, to make them on full chemistry uh, instead of Marquisio we had there. So these are the guys on the bench. We need to switch the manager to a Premier League manager and then we have full chemistry. All right, what about the 4-2-2-2 formation? This is the lineup that I'm using. I'm switching Mudrik and Al uh, Wyron. Vangeta is striker, Neymar right cam, Toure, Fernandez, central mids, uh, Bailly, Kibembe, center backs, Klaus right, Ismaili on the left side, of course. These are the tactics that I'm using from the beginning of the match. Just balanced defensive style with 35, depth 45, build up balance, chance creation balance with 50. Place in the box, six bars, quarters, free kicks, both uh, two bars. Uh, the instructions, I don't have them to show you, but what it is, it is the strikers are on stay forward and getting behind. Uh, two camps only on get into the box for the cross. I have Fernandez on get forward. Uh, I have Toure on stay back and both uh, fullbacks also on stay back. That is about the instructions. That is also in the other 422 formation that is this one. This one is the one that I'm switching to during the match. When I think I need to score a goal now, I'm better than my opponent, but it is hard to uh, score a goal, to create chances, then we are switching to this one. Or when I'm just behind uh, some goals, one goal or more goals, and I need to score them, also switching to this one. It's the uh, defensive style is press after possession loss. The width is 30, uh, 40, depth is 60, fast build up, forward runs with 60, plays in the box, six bars, corners, three kicks, two bars. The instructions are exactly the same as in the first one. So that is how we are playing. And these are some goals uh, that I scored and also the goals that I considered. Here we have all Y1 with a good shot. Um, I decided during last weekend league to switch to this formation. I played around eight matches before I switched to this. I was playing my uh, yeah, favorite formation, 4-2-3-1, small, but we had five matches won and three lost, so it wasn't going really, really good. So I thought, well, let's switch to something else. And with this formation, I won eight matches in a row and maybe that doesn't sound really crazy because all these pro players that are making YouTube videos are getting rank one and something like that but i'm not a guy that can ha can get to rank one i'm not that good i'm just more like a casual player that likes to make videos and also like to try new tactics and stuff and yeah i'm not the best player in the world but still i can uh yeah win some good matches all right uh that is about me and now we are going here to another match and my opponent was making sliding tackles all the time. I don't know what this guy was doing, but we got a penalty kick. I was checking out who has better penalty kicks. Well, Ben Jeter has 98, Neymar has 97. Does, doesn't matter that much, but Ben Jeter is scoring it. Ben Jeter was on fire like he is since we have him. He is scoring so many goals like this red goal really lucky of course but hey we score lucky goals we consider lucky goals so at the end it's about even i think and this is one of the first weekend leagues in weeks i'm not playing every week and i'm not uh completing my weekend leagues all the time but this was one of the weekends that i didn't have that much gameplay bullshit if you are looking to my channel to my videos to my shorts that i'm making uh the last weeks now you see so many weird situations weird goals weird referee decisions that you're getting a red card while you are sliding tackle the ball things like that that was in the last weekend so much happening but this weekend the gameplay was actually good not all the time 
still there do, uh, going on some weird things but it's still a game and it's really hard to make a perfect football game i understand that but the gameplay uh there was not much delay except from the last match that i was playing there was some delay but that also can happen of course but overall the gameplay was good and i was really happy about it and then yeah it's way more fun to play fifa than when the gameplay is bad and it's frustrating and yeah then i'm not uh i don't want to complete the wicked league all the time so that's also why i'm not making videos all the time about my ultimate team but please people let me know in the comments if you are just watching on this moment when i'm speaking to you please comment and let me uh, know if you want to see more videos like this or just something else let me know in the comments what you want to see i'm also doing lots of ultim uh, of uh, online seasons videos of course tactic videos best way to play with them that's more uh the thing that i am good at i'm in division one there uh, but the skill level in online seasons is not that high as it is in ultimate team of course let's be honest um so division one in ultimate team is way harder to uh get than it is in online seasons but i'm still making these videos in online seasons best tactics because i know you guys appreciate it well not all of you but most do and uh, that is where my channel is based on but if you want to see some more ultimate team videos it can be some fun videos as well if you want maybe a draft or something with a bit of a uh, challenge let me know in the comments i'm really curious what you guys want to see on my channel well you see the goals that i'm scoring you see the goal that i get against i'm also going to make a uh, defending tutorial uh, another one based on my uh, matches in this weekend during this weekend because i concentrate more on the defending and it paid off it really paid off it is so hard to concentrate all the time after three or four matches uh, speaking for myself i know that my concentration level is getting down and you're not that much concentrated and make weird decisions sometimes so that's also a reason why 20 matches in a weekend sometimes it is really hard to uh, fulfill because i'm also having a uh, a family two kids third is coming we have a dog i also do other things in a weekend so sometimes 20 matches is really hard to, to fulfill but i'm doing my best and especially like this weekend we enjoyed it and what about the players that are used? Ben Jeter is wonderful. Um, all Owyron, all Owyron. <laughs> I'm making the mistake all the time. He was. It's a weird player for me. His dribbling is not so good, especially his first touch is so clumsy sometimes. But he is super fast and his shooting is really good. Uh, so sometimes you are frustrated about him and his passing is also not the best. But then he is scoring three goals for you out of nothing. So yeah. <laughs> he is a weird player. Majeda is okay. Mudrik, I don't have an idea of how good he is yet. Uh, Enzo Fernandez was really good for a box to box player. Uh, Toure, what do I need to say about him? He is so good. Uh, Bailly, centre back, was one of the only players that was a moi. He, he wasn't that bad he is a good defender but if i'm looking back to my gameplay and looking back to the goals that i consider almost all the time Bailly is there and i consider a goal kimbembe is a beast he is a beast ismaili on the left is okay klaus is really good and what other plays do we have neymar neymar is just neymar his shooting is good his dribbling is good but his strength lacks a bit so you need to uh, keep that in mind so yeah that were all the players oh no we have the goalkeeper i used inform donnarumma until last week last weekend league donnarumma was really shit i considered so many goals because the goalkeeper was doing really weird things i don't know if it was donnarumma or it was just the gameplay because the gameplay was overall really bad but we bought from the sar and from the sar i don't know what it is with that guy but he feels so consistent he's saving so many not all of them of course because no goalkeeper saves it all but 
he felt like 10 times better than Donnarumma. So he cost about 300k, but in my opinion, it was really worth it. All right, this match was ending really crazy. Look at the time. Look at Ribery's pass coming fresh from the bench to Musa, also fresh from the bench. Passing to who else? To Ben Jeter, and he is scoring us the winning goal. All right, I think these are the last three matches, and yeah, I, I lost too many games in the beginning of the weekend league. Well, too many. It is pretty normal for me, but if you looking overall to the whole weekend league, when I was winning around eight matches in a row, and then the last three. I all lose them. I really think there is some kind of skill. Look at this goal. My defender, Bailly, was blocking me. I was running into to Bailly. I don't know whose fault it was, but it was really frustrated that I couldn't uh, defend there really good because I was running into my own player. Uh, but that is what it is. Uh, I think this is the last match, but uh, what was I saying? The last three matches, I think that the skill level of the players that you are facing when you are winning really much games is getting higher and then I'm just losing. The guys that I faced were so good, but still, I I still had chances to win the matches. But yeah, look at this, Bailly again, <laughs> making a fall, getting a penalty kick against. But look at Valdesar, look at this, look at this, he's saving it, <laughs> punching into the post. but. No matter but yeah it's so hard to create chances against really good players and you need to be concentrated so many so it's all the time you can't uh yeah lose any concentration and yeah I, what i already said after a few matches it's hard to concentrate all the time and then we are losing it is what it is that is just me here are my picks um the players Parge is trash, we're not gonna use him. The rating is okay, of course, 87 is not that bad. 88 is even better, of course, but we are not going to use these players. So they are going into the club and maybe into a SBC. 89, Casimiro is also not that bad for rating. And then we have 85, Jorginho. All right, then we have some packs. This is the ultimate team pack with the team of the weeks. And we get Uribe, 85 is not so good. And, and then we still have two other packs and these are not what you expect from a whole, playing a whole weekend league but also that is what it is i'm going to end this video now i really want to thank you very much for watching if you're still watching and you didn't drop a like yet i would really appreciate it if you will do that and if you're new to the channel i want to find your way back really easy make sure you are subscribed with notifications on thank you guys bye bye